Well, when it comes to looking at diversity, I think that companies need to be more open. You need to look at the actual resume and the past experiences of, of potential board members, but don't look at, for example, don't look at the name. Mm-hmm. Because with me, I don't go by my first name. Yeah. I don't go by my first name because when I tried going by my first name before, when I first graduated with my bachelor's degree, no one would call and hire me. Mm-hmm. Now, when I started going by my middle name, everyone knows Chanel. Mm-hmm. Everyone is willing to talk to me. I got more job interviews and I've landed multiple jobs. And yep. it was mainly because I stopped using my first name, which I don't think that life should be that way. So yeah. I think there needs to be policies in place where you have to really look at a candidate. You have to be open to diversity. You have to be open to not just men, but also women. You mm-hmm. have to, you have, you can't base people on their sexual orientation. It can be based on any disabilities. It's just in play, based on the fact that they are the best candidate for the position. And if you feel like they're not, be willing to provide a reason why. Don't yeah. just reject somebody on the fly yes. because totally. you can provide feedback, which can actually help them later with another opportunity. Yeah. But these companies aren't doing that. They're just flat out rejecting people. Mm-hmm. And I know this not just for these type of positions, but so for also for other types of positions where people are reaching out to me on social media. They want me to give them tips on how to look at jobs. Um, how can it get better with interviews? You know, mm-hmm. and some of them just say, why can't I get a job? And they're, they're applying for jobs in cybersecurity and IT, but it's really hard for them to land them. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, one of our past guests, uh, Jackie Ilshak, she she gets a ton of of LinkedIn messages from people saying she, she's in, in project management within cybersecurity, and and uh, people will say, uh, you know, I, I really want to I really want to get into that space, and you know, she'll give them like a five minute Zoom call to sort of like talk through things. But you know, I think there is that sort of lack of baseline understanding of like how to look for a job and how to present yourself and and so forth. But then at the same time, there's like you said there's also the sort of the, the the gatekeeping of of sort of name bias but also uh you know if you don't put the right uh listings in your you know electronic resume then they get filtered out because well we you know we wanted this particular language but you only had this other one which also incorporates that one but you know so many so many little sort of um you know unnecessary things that are keeping like really good candidates out of the out of the workforce Exactly. And a lot of these recruiters are actually just um, searching for resumes based on keywords. Yeah. That eliminates people from the positions automatically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then they, and then of course the, the, you know, the, the paradox of that is they, 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 they say, well, we wanted to get someone, you know, diverse in here, but we only got three, you know, we only got three candidates. Exactly. And, and it's like, well, a- yeah, where did everyone, where did everyone else go? You know, <laughs> it's almost <laughs> as if you, uh, you know, set up a, a system to, uh, to, to just put those three people through. And don't, th- don't forget about the other issue too. A lot of people there turn around and they're hiring their friends. So I've worked for plenty of companies where I've seen them interviewed. I said, we have to interview at least three people. But one of the people are their friends. Mm -hmm. They already know they're going to hire their friend. So my thing is you have people coming in for interviews, getting all, they polishing themselves up, prepping and all this other stuff. When you already know you're not going to hire them. I think that's messed up. Oh, I totally agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, you know, interviews are hard enough as it is without, you know, not being told up front, like, you're, there's no way you're getting this. Exactly. <laughs> or, 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 they, or they might say, like, well, if you just happen to be a unicorn candidate where you're, you know, like, 75 times better than than my my buddy over here, <laughs> then we'll give it <laughs> yeah. to you. But that, you shouldn't have to jump that high of a hurdle. That's That's, that's ridiculous. How about some free cybersecurity training resources for you and your team? Just go to infosecinstitute.com slash free to get ebooks, training guides, and more than 100 cybersecurity training courses, all free for cyber work listeners. Go to infosecinstitute.com slash free and start learning crucial new skills today.